Hello, good day. Today I'm here to demonstrate how to use the EAT template to create your network or networks on, in OpenStack. Or EAT templates is a very good way to automate or creation of your networks and uh, or basically to deploy your network or your cloud or instances or your cloud infrastructure basically. Uh, I'm going to walk you through, uh, I have a it template here that I use to create uh, my networks. I use it to create my external network, my internal network. Uh, actually, I have two internal networks, uh, my router. Um, I attach everything together. Uh, so just by running this uh, it template. So it is easy for me to, uh, to delete this stack and to recreate it so that is one great bef benefit of using it templates to deploy your infrastructure or uh, it helps or uh, automation or uh, everything can be automated and everything becomes uh, like a code so if you are not familiar with it template or uh, this is how it looks like or uh, it's a yaml or uh, formatted file uh, so uh, if you come so this is also my openstack dashboard I am on the network uh, page so as, as you can see it tells me that there are no networks routers or connected instances to display to display right now i don't have any networks or routers on this uh, uh openstack dashboard so if i go to orchestration orchestration is where the action takes place um uh, and by the way, this OpenStack uh, version is Newton. Uh, this is January 2017, and uh, the latest stable version is uh, OpenStack Newton, and this is what I have. So I go to orchestration and stacks. So here is where I'm going to launch my stacks. But before I show you how to launch, if you go to uh, resource types, Resource types actually tells you uh, the resources you can use in your each template and it gives you help. It tells you how to use each of these resources. For example, uh, floating IP. So if we go into floating IP, uh, it is going to tell us how to uh, create a floating IP from each template or uh, gives us uh, uh, details about the values and parameters that are required so let's go to my each template that i have here uh, I, I will put my link to, to my github to this each template in the description if you want to take a look at it so the first thing you have to have in your each template is uh, the each template version so you have to know the version you need to use because if you go to the dashboard again, we say template versions. So because depending on your version, some things might not be possible. So I have a couple of versions available for me. I have chosen to use uh, this version of 2016, 10, 14. So that is the first thing that it, is, uh, it expects. So the next line, uh, I have description. Uh, I say I'm going to create nest networks. Uh, then I tell it the resources. So the resources, my first resources resource is uh, the external network. The name is ESTnet. So and I told it the type of resource is a neutron provider net. So this is the type of the resource. Or uh, the properties, or uh, the name, the network type, or uh, physical network. Or the router Estana. So I'm, I'm telling him that uh, this is going to be a gateway for my router. So uh, a caveat is that this can this or uh, Estana network can only be created by the administrator of the cloud. It it cannot be created by our uh, our tenant users. So next is the subnet. So the subnet. Or uh, is another re resources so I give it this name I tell it the type of this resource is neutron subnet 
or the properties or uh, so the name i told it uh, not to enable dhcp on the subnet because or uh, this is an external subnet um uh, uh, network id so i use the get resource or uh, command to get the id of the network which this uh, subnet belongs to so the cider notation for the or uh, the subnet address the gateway allocation pools so that is the range that i want to use or uh, that i want to use allocate out as floating ips or uh, i also specify my dns server the ip version next i create my internal networks internal network or uh, this the type here is the new is neutron net so similarly our properties the name and next the subnet that belongs to that particular network or uh, so this is similar to what i have earlier network id or uh, the side annotation of the subnet address dns name servers or uh, in this case i enabled dhcp uh, i have one other network that i created i call it red network uh, so similarly uh, similar to what i have here so next another major resource is the router so the router that's going to serve uh, that's going to uh, link my internal network to the to outside so the type is of neutron router the name is router one so the external gateway info so this is the network that it is going to use as the gateway so i told it to get the resource of the est net that i have um the next thing here is the uh the internal or uh, the router interface so basically i'm attaching or uh, my internal uh, subnet to, to the router interface and also my red subnet i'm also attaching it to the as an interface to the router so basically this is uh what uh, a simple each template looks like uh it can get more complex than this you can use it to deploy uh your infrastructure you know from your instances to cinder volumes to load balancing uh, uh you know as as long as the version you know remember we had a template version as long as your version or uh, gives you that opportunity to to be able to do that so or uh, and also the resource types you have to look at what are the resource types that you can use on your OpenStack? So uh, depending on the time you are watching me and the version of OpenStack you have, uh, the resource type might might differ. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, and some parameters might not be available or might, it might not be exactly as this. So depending on your OpenStack version. So let's create it. So we'll go to stacks and we'll click on launch stack so we can load the, uh, the file from the file we can directly input we can load it from a url so here i'm going to input it directly i'm just going to come here uh, i'm going to copy i copied my template and i paste I click next the name oh, I'm going to give it uh, net stack uh, so I have to give it my admin password because some of the things that I uh, I did in this template requires administrative right you know like creating or uh, creating the external network that requires administrative rights so I click launch to so launch and I wait. So depending on your stack, or uh, it 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 uh, it's going to determine how long it's going to take to create it. So as you can see, uh, I said create complete. 
that means it has created of my network stack so let's go and look at it we click on networks uh, remember earlier it told us there was nothing to display but now it created my external network internal network and my red network or uh, with the ap appropriate or uh, subnets and subnet addresses so if we go to network topology um see that it's going to have the topology like i have it you know like so see so let's look at the graph you see this is my router so the router had or uh, three interfaces one of those interface uh, is the gateway uh is the router gateway that uses the external network so and if we go to routers also our router will show me the router that i have and it told me it is active so uh basically this is what i want to show you in this demo um about what you can do with your each template and get uh com more complex than this and uh but it is very useful or uh, from the standpoint of uh, automation or uh, and uh treating your infrastructure as a code so and another thing that I can tell you is that you, with your each template, you can also use a, what is called like a metadata or file where you can supply. Because in my file, I had coded some values, so you, you might so th there's a way to you know uh, keep the values separate from uh, the the template itself. So. Uh, if because uh, let me show you how that looks like even though uh, so for example let's say we are launching a new uh, stack so you will see uh, it tells me environment source so environment source will give the values to the parameters that i have but i, I didn't use parameters in my case but i'm telling you so that you are aware and avoid uh at coding or these values like IP addresses name or in this uh, template so um thank you for watching uh i hope it's beneficial to you uh see you bye